Okay, so we got the Tech 2 set up here on the laptop. I don't know. It's kind of hard to show this without getting a lot of glare in the sun. Or get, getting a lot of glare off our lights in here. There's no sun. It's dark outside. But anyways, uh, once I printed off the entire instructions that I got off the Drew Tech website, it's in PDF file there, and I just decided to print it all off and just went through it page by page. I think there's probably about 30... 35 steps and maybe about 20 pages you have to print off or if you've got another computer you can set up beside the one you're installing this on you can just go through it that way too I didn't have that so I just printed off the uh, instructions so we got the laptop here go running through the pass through pro and we got it hooked up to an 06 uh, Chevy HHR with a 2.0 liter in it or 2 liter in it so uh this here basically just works just like a uh, just like your Tech 2 would work now. So uh, here we got this on the laptop screen. So you just drag your cursor, you can hit enter, and then the same menu that would come up on your Tech 2 comes up on your computer or uh, yeah, up on your laptop or computer screen. And the nice thing about having it on your computer screen is you don't really have to use the keyboard that much. You just drag your cursor over to whatever you want to do. So we're, we have 2006 here. So we have 2006, and then we have a passenger car. We have that, and we've got a Chevy. So you just drag your cursor on Chevy. We'll go VIN A on this, or a vehicle product line A. And here we go. Our entire menu comes up, and uh, we'll go bracket it. We'll click on engine. We've got the VIN P engine, so we click on that. And then we click on engine controls, and then uh, menu would come up just like you would have on your Tech 2. So we can go into special functions, powertrain control menu. And then we have uh, functions here for throttle position or engine speed, where we can control it just like we would with the Tech 2. And once you get into a menu and if you want to back out of it, you would just hit your exit button just like you would on your Tech 2. So uh, everything here seems to work pretty good. This computer here is a little shaky. Uh, it's getting kind of old and beat up. I've been using this one for flashing. Having a laptop around the shop, it tends to get abused a little bit. But right here, you can I don't know if you can see that or not, but on my uh, after you go through all the... After you go through all the uh, instructions and you go to the GM TIS 2 website and pay your subscription fee for however long you want to have this on there, I just trying it here so I took the three day. But uh, after you're all done you'll have a couple icons on there and all you do is just click on your tech to win icon and uh, it should open up and uh, everything should be ready to go. I thought every time you'd have to use this you would have to go to the test to the TIS 2 web the GM or whatever website to open up your Tech 2, but no, once you got it on your computer, it'll tell you down here how many days this here, where it says uh, 2 right here, it says how many days you have left on your uh, on your subscription for this. So this is something you do have to pay for. But uh, it was $55 for three days, or you can buy a year's worth. And uh, the thing I've noticed I've had uh, pass through Pro for for probably a couple years now, and started using it more and more lately. And that having this here ability added to your Tech 2 or to your pass through Pro to be use it, able to use it like this helps make it a little bit more of a worthwhile investment. Especially if you work on a lot of GM cars. I mean, the Snap-on scanner can only do so much. And it's never going to have you have 100% coverage and it's kind of nice on GMs and Fords because those tend to be the way I see the most of in here to have 100% coverage on those vehicles and while the, nobody would ever argue that the Tech 2 is the greatest scanner in the world it's just nice to have these uh, extra tests and other stuff that uh, the Snap-on doesn't give you so again if you to go backwards and forwards it's usually just a matter of hitting enter or hitting exit and every time you click on the exit, it goes, it'll go back to the previous page. So uh, let's try something else here. We'll go exit. 
exit. Exit, we'll get out of powertrain, we'll go uh, we'll go into body and accessories here. I don't know how well this is going to show up on a video, but uh, we'll give it a try. Then we can go into keyless entry, body control module. Then we can set up FDM. Probably some of these functions are in the snap-on scanner, but uh, again, you'd have them here too. Again, snap-on doesn't cover all this stuff for all their makes, so uh, we can go into special functions body control and light miscellaneous tests other stuff some of the things that are in the snap-on scanner and some of them that aren't uh, again this is uh... i thought it was pretty cool to have it up on the laptop i always thought that having a laptop scanner would be a good idea but actually for taking this on a test drive to have all these cords and everything probably not the most ideal thing so it's more something when you get into body control stuff and uh, a lot of the accessories and stuff that aren't covered by the snap-on software it's kind of nice to have the, the original GM stuff and this and the other thing about this here I'll exit out of this is compared to having the regular tech 2 is that this thing is gonna every time you subscribe or every time you in, you open it up it, you're gonna get uh, the latest version every time you do the download off the GM website you're going to get the latest version so you can see we got 2013 vehicles up here already again the only other thing is a lot of GMs now are the global are the global uh, diagnostic vehicles so uh, this isn't going to do that but it is kind of a nice thing to have you know to make it a little bit more more worthwhile to have a, a pass-through tool to be able to do this with and you could have you can subscribe to all your downloads for all your flashes and get your TIS to web and I think it's about thirteen hundred dollars so just roughly over a hundred dollars a month so it isn't uh, it's not the worst investment to have this to pay that much for every year if you if you're seeing a lot of GM vehicles in your shop and it's and you're going beyond what your regular drivability diagnostics have I think it's a good idea I think we're probably going to go for the full year subscription for the for the tech 2 and for the uh, and for all the flashing downloads for a one-time fee yearly fee I think it's uh, being that we sell cars here and uh, we do body shop work here a lot of times those extra functions and tests and programming capabilities that uh, aren't always in the snap-on tool that you have here I think it's worthwhile to have so I guess that's about it uh, it wasn't too hard if you're used to downloading programs uh, onto your computer following this step by step and then doing the installation and putting the drivers in you, you got to get the one driver from Drew Tech and then the other stuff all comes from the GM website so I guess that's about it